Throughout the Great Purge, thousands of writers, intellectuals and artists were imprisoned and executed due to their views and ability to portray these views which could be negative to the Soviet Union. Some of these writers were Adrian Piotrowski was a Russian dramaturge responsible for creating the synopsis for Sergei Prorovsky's ballot Romeo and Juliet. He was executed on the 21st November 1937. Boris Pilniak was a writer and was arrested on the 28th October 1937 for alleged counter-revolutionary activities, spying and terrorism. He was tried on the 21st April 1938 and the trial lasted 15 minutes. He was then quickly executed. Boris Shumyatsky was a de facto executive producer for the Soviet film Monopoly from 1930 to 1937. He was executed as a traitor in 1938 following a purge of the Soviet film industry. Isaac Babel was a writer and was arrested in May 1939 and according to his confession paper, which had a blood stain, he confessed to being a member of a Trotskyist organization and being recruited by a French writer, André Maru, to spy for France. In the final interrogation, he retracted his confession and wrote letters to the prosecutor's office stating that he had implicated innocent people, but to no avail. Babel was tried before an NKVD troika and convicted of simultaneously spying for the French, Austrians and Trotsky, as well as a membership in the terrorist organization. On the 27th January 1940, he was shot in Bukuria prison. Jan Sten was a philosopher and deputy head of the Marx Engels Institute. He was Stalin's private tutor when Stalin was trying hard to study Heigl's dialect. In 1937, he was seized on the direct order of Stalin, who declared him one of the chiefs of Menshevising idealists. On the 19th June 1937, Sten was put to death in Le Tovo prison. Julian Schutzky was a sinologist and was convicted as a Japanese spy. He was then executed on the 2nd February 1938. Les Kerbers was a Ukrainian theatre and movie director. He was considered to be one of the most important Ukrainian theatre directors of the 20th century and he was shot on the 3rd November 1937. Maximilian Kravkov was a Russian writer and explorer. He was arrested on a charge of an alleged participation in the Japanese SR terrorist subversive espionage organization. He was executed on the 12th October 1937. Mikhail Kulish was a Ukrainian drama writer and he was executed on the 3rd November 1937. He was considered as one of the lead figures of the executed renaissance. Nikolai Donovo was a Russian linguist and created a classification of Russian dialects that served as a base for modern scientific linguistic nomenclature. He was born into the Donovo noble family and was executed on the 27th of October 1937. Nikolai Kuluev was a poet and was arrested in 1933 for contradicting Soviet ideology. He was shot in October 1937. Nikolai Nikrasov was a Russian Esperanto writer and translator. He was arrested in 1938 after being accused of being an organiser and leader of a fascist espionage terrorist organisation of Esperantists. He was executed on the 4th of October 1938. Nikolai Nevsky was a Russian linguist and an expert on East Asian languages. He was arrested by the NKVD on the charge of being a Japanese spy. On the 27th of November 1937, he was executed along with his Japanese wife, Isoku Mantani Nevsky. Nikolai Olenikov was a playwright and avant garde poet. He was arrested and executed for subversive writing on the 24th November 1937. Osip Mandelstam was a poet and he was arrested for reciting a famous anti Stalin poem, the Stalin Epigram, to his circle of friends in 1934. After intervention by Nikolai Bukharin and Boris Pasternak, he was exiled to Sheridan for three years. In May 1938, he was arrested again for counter-revolutionary activities, and on the 2nd of August 1938, he was sentenced to five years in correction camps. He died on the 27th of December 1938 at a transit camp near Vladivostok. Paolo Yashvili was a poet. He previously had to denounce several of his associates as enemies of the people. He witnessed and was forced to participate in public trials against his associates and the Writers' Union, which condemned them to death. 
After increased pressure off the NKVD, he shot himself. Pavel Nikolaevich Vasiliev defended Nikolai Bukharin in early 1937 in the Second Moscow Trials. He damned other writers, signing the routine condemnations, and on the 16th of July 1937 he was shot. Platon Oyunsky was a Yakut writer and was seen as one of the founders of modern Yakut literature. He died in prison in 1939. Sergei Chervain was a Mari poet and playwright. He was executed in Yoshkar Ula on the 11th of November 1937. Titsayan Tabitzi was a Georgian poet and was arrested on the 10th of October 1937 on the charge of treason and was tortured. He claimed the 18th century Georgian poet Besiki was his accomplice. And because of this, he was executed on the 16th of December 1937. Vladimir Varankin was an Esperanto writer, and he was accused of being a member of a fascist espionage terrorist organization of Esperantists. He was executed on the 3rd of October 1938. Severod Meyerhold was a theatre director, and was arrested in 1939 for allegedly spying for Japanese and British intelligence. He was shot in February 1940, 